And now your attention, please, for tonight's starting lineups. First, for the Indians, a 6-1 junior, number two, Noted Tracy. A 5-8 senior, number five, Ryan Herman. A 6-5 sophomore, number 23, Brandon Bell. A 6-1 senior, number 33, Joe Postover. And a 6-2 senior, number 34, Scott Villabas. The assistant coaches, Perry Harp and Frank Wirtz. And the head coach, Andrew Zanieris. And now, starting for your Gateway Gators, a final of a junior, number one, Jaden Carr. A 5'10 junior, number five, MJ Stevenson. A 5'6 sophomore, number 10, Guido Tampolo. A 6'7 senior, number 21, Ryan Gregerson. And a 6'3 senior, number 23, Will Hawka. The assistant coaches are Bernard Benson and Belly, and the head coach of the Gators, Alvis Rogers. The officials for tonight's game, Shane Snyder, Matt Martin, and John Gallagher. Hello and welcome. So there we have it. National Anthem out of the way, starting lineups. And we are just seconds away from tip here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Hello, everyone. Welcome once again. Vince Russo here with our talented crew led by Adam Gusky, Renee Schaefer, and the two Lee Schaefers. Going to be a great one tonight, the 11-6 matchup. And the Gators will start out with the first offensive possession here as they host this first round playoff game. Gators looking to try and get back to the quarterfinals for a second straight year. And they'll have to go through the Indians who travel over from Imperial, Pennsylvania. Big block there is driving into the lane there. That was MJ Stevenson. He was denied. These two teams averaging over 65 points a game. Look to see some offensive fireworks here. Campolo going to pull from deep. That one a bit long for Vito. Campolo, the sophomore forward. And here come the Indians the other way. Intercepted there with a clean path to the basket is Carr. Carr lays it up and in. That's the first bucket on the evening. Gators off and running here. Gators finished the regular season with a 9 and 3 section mark. Is at the other end? A nice block there by Will Kromka. 34. He's going to be the story. Is number 33 stepping on the line there. That ball out of bounds. Joe pushed over. Lost track of where he was, but it's 34. Scott Bilivis, the 6'2 senior guard, averaged 19 points last season, just passed 1,000 total points this season. And he's going to have to have a big night offensively if the 11 seeded Indians are going to pull the upset here against the Gators. Kromka will pull the trigger from deep. He's a 40% shooter from deep, but that one forced long. And now the Indians come back down the other way looking for their first points here. About 90 seconds in here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Winner of this game will take on the winner of the three seed versus 14 seed matchup. That's Mars hosting Thomas Jefferson tonight. We'll see if we can't get some score updates as the night goes on. That three point bucket just long for Pustover. And now it's Carr and the Gators the other way. He'll take this one strong, but just a little too much English on it. Now the Indians. Force the Gators into one and done, but a nice poke away there. Carr to Stevenson. Back to Carr. He lays that one up and in. Carr poked it away. MJ Stevenson was able to have the awareness to tip that back forward to Carr, and then he had an open avenue there for the lay-in. Wide open. Three-point shot. Just off the mark there from the wing, and now it's Carr once again. He goes up strong. He'll absorb the contact, but the shot won't fall. He'll head to the line for the game's first free throws 
Down at the other end, Noden Tracy, the 6'1 junior guard, unable to knock down the three-point shot. That looked like it was going to go down. Lift in and out. So now Carr will head to the line. As Tracy at the other end is the one picking up the foul after missing the three. So Jaden Carr with a quick five points. The game's only scoring thus far here in this round of 16 matchup. Carr will go two for two. He has six. Six nothings where we stand. See if the Indians can get anything going inside here against this man defense for Gateway. They've been forced into a lot of perimeter shots. Tracy going to drive inside, kick it out. Bilivis, the open look. That one just a bit too strong. And now it's Will Kromka the other way. Kromka and Bilivis, both players to watch going into this season. Both have gotten their teams into the postseason, but only one can get to the quarterfinal. Now it's Gregerson. The size advantage in almost every matchup. Kromka gets it underneath, absorbs the contact, but no call there. Can't lay that one up and in. Now flying the other way is Pustover. It looked like there might have been an extra step in there for Pustover, but he lays that one up and in, and the Indians find the scoreboard for the first time tonight. They trim the lead to four. Gators have had balanced scoring all season long. Stampola going to pull the trigger again. That one just off the mark. Neither team able to find any rhythm from deep here to start. Postover thought about it, drives inside. They'll kick it out. That one from the corner. And there it is, our first made three of the game. Brandon That's going to be Brandon Bell, the sophomore guard, 6'5". He trims the lead to one. As Carr and the Gators put up the point, first six points of this contest. And now the Gators surrendering five consecutives. The Indians now forced the turnover. Campolo this time losing awareness of where he was on the court. And so now the Indians will get a chance to take their first lead of the contest after trailing by as much as six here in the early going. Pustover orchestrating the offense here. Good drive inside, kick. Heat check time, looking for a second straight three there. That's no good. Two Gators come together, and Wolf Kromka eventually able to get the rebound there. As it was Bell looking for a second consecutive made three. Carr able to find some separation, get inside. He's getting wherever he wants on the floor so far tonight. Indians not able to match his speed. So the lead back up to three for the Gators. Pustover finds a bit of a lane. He'll get it out. That one. Flies off of the hand of Bilivis. Three-point shot, no good. That one taken there by Ryan Herman. Now the other way, it's Stevenson. He lays it up and into the Gators. But their first points by someone not named Jaden Carr. As they are flying in transition as a turnover. Trying to get the ball in there. And Noden Tracy lost track of where he was on the floor, so the Gators will get it right back here. Gators coming off of a 21-point 21, 21 win over Franklin Regional where they knocked the Panthers out of the playoffs. Swept the Panthers and really did some damage in their section. Only lost to Penn Hills twice and Kiski area once. Gators, all of their losses have come against playoff teams. Stevenson absorbs the contact. That one just lips out. Nice look there. Tough one on another turnover. They'll get it back to Stevenson. Pump fakes. Ooh, almost got that old-fashioned three-point play. But that one just trickles over the rim, but he'll get a chance to go to the line where the Gators are two for two here in the early going. But you look at the Gators' schedule and the teams that they lost to on their way to a 13-5 and five record. We've got the three in-section losses we talked about, one against Kiski that's in the 8-9 matchup here in 5A. Penn Hills twice. They're the number four seed as Gators are the sixth seed. And then their other two losses out of section play come against Pine Richland, the seventh seed in 6A. And then in 4A, they also suffered a loss at the hands of South Fayette. Or rather, North Catholic, the four seed. 
And so that's where the Gators stand. You look on the other side, after starting out the season 5-0, and West Allegheny really struggled down the stretch, had to win their last three section contests to get into the postseason tournament. You see they lost their season finale, a non-conference matchup against talented 4A squad Lincoln Park, a perennial WPIL championship contender. But win and you're in, as they say. The Indians are here, and they find themselves down six. Nearly going. Another trip to the line there. Finish that three-point play, or rather finish off those free throws. Stevenson with a nice job there. Stevenson now with four points as the Gators perfect four for four here in the early going from the free throw line. Lead is now up to seven as the Gators defense has been stifling. And not only has it prevented West Allegheny from getting points on the board, it's translated into a ton of good transition looks. You've got Jaden Carr with eight points here in the early going. So the Indians go back to work here. Two and a half minutes left here. A couple substitutions for each side. For the Gators, they'll bring in Bryson Pavlik, the three-point specialist, as well as number 12, Elijah Bruce McCrommon. Ball poked away there. As Pustover, the 6-1 guard, tried to force his way to the rim, had the ball poked away. Possession will stay with West Allegheny. Now driving inside, picking up the foul. Will be Bilivis. Who has not registered a point in the first six minutes of this game, and he is the real threat for West Allegheny. He gets a chance to get himself in rhythm at the free throw line, knocks down the front end. Just the third overall foul we've seen in this game. First foul against the Gators. That one applied to Israel McGeorge, who's fresh into the game. Mikey Crawford, who's also fresh into the game, will orchestrate the offense. And defense on both sides here to start. Pavlik throws it away. Indians now with a chance to build after the two made free throws by Bilovis. See if they can make this a one-score game once again. Bilovis loses the handle there. Good pressure there, good defense. Forces a tough shot, bank won't go. Now it's Pavlik splitting a couple defenders. He tries to dish it outside. That one just a bit in front of the intended target, Mikey Crawford. So Pavlik had the speed, he had the handles, but the pass just a little off the mark. Now pushed over. Going to try and get this one across half court, create some space for the Indians. Dark gray road uniforms. Bilovis going to pull up, he'll hit from deep. And he is so effective. That is really where he makes his bread and butter on the court. And he knocks that one down, and now he's in rhythm with five. Lead is back to two. Gators without Gregerson, Crompton in the game, or Carr. The Pavlik hits a big three there. Gregerson, three. And that'll build the lead back up to five for the Gators. Now reach in call there. Mikey Crawford thought he had gotten a clean look at a steal there. They'll call the reach-in foul. That'll be the second foul against the Gators. Both teams now with two team fouls here with 38.7 seconds left here in our opening frame on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Good defense there. The turnover going to lead to a bucket at the other end as Pavlik lays it up and in. He's got some words for the student section. He's got five here in the last minute alone. Good ball movement here by the Indians. They'll get that one up and in. Good positioning and a good finish. Brandon Bell. By Brandon Bell, who now has five. 
That's where the lead stands. Layup. It's going to be a charge. He's going to wave this one off. Is trying to dangle there in the air. Fally Thompson with a nice floater there. Banked that one off and in. But as he came down, bowled over the defensive player. And so they'll call the charge. Third team foul against the Gators. Six seconds left. That's down again. He's going to get the last crack at it. They're going to have to get this one off quick. And the buzzer is going to ring before any of that contact. So that's how we'll end our first quarter of play. 17-12 the score here as the Gators, without a lot of their heavy firepower in the starting lineup out there for much of the quarter, they went to the reserves, they went to the bench, got some other guys in the game, and they came through. Gators will escape with a five-point lead after one, led by eight points for Jaden Carr, the 5'11 junior. Really did some damage generating defense into offense in transition. As we take a look at the Gators' schedule, three losses in the early part of the season. Again, against some, some tough competition, close losses, and then had a seven-game winning streak at one point, all in section. Got disrupted by Kiske, and then down the stretch playing some really great basketball other than a close loss to Penn Hills. Both of those losses by eight and ten points. Not quite what they look like. That, that difference looks a little deceiving. They were in those games late. And so Gators certainly looking like a team that's going to give anyone a battle throughout this tournament. My goodness, there are some good teams in 5A. Certainly Rodney Gallagher and Laurel Highlands, the team that most folks are talking about. But Newcastle, Highlands, Mars, Penn Hills, certainly some very, very talented teams here in 5A. Starting five back out for the Gators as we resume play here in quarter number two. With Gators up five, open three. That one well off the mark. Gregerson will come down with the rebound. He'll get it. The outlet man will be Campolo. Went 0 for 2 from three in the first quarter. Getting the start here tonight. Good ball movement here. Krompa going to go to work. Hangs, puts the hook shot in. That'll be the first points for Will Kromka. Kromka, the 6'3 senior. He, Gregerson, McGeorge, McCrommon all trying to extend their Gator careers with a win tonight. Take on the winner of Mars and Thomas Jefferson. Switch there. Pass in the lane. A little bit of contact afterwards. Looks like we're going to get a blocking foul against the Gators. A foul is on 23 of the Gators. Kromka picking up his first foul. Number 25, Justin Mays into the Indian lineup. Open look from the top of the key, up and down. Good shot there. Tyler Blatz for two. Tyler Blatz normally wears number 44. We've heard before the game he switched to number 20. Number 20 there gets his first points as Carr again, able to carve out space inside. Even at 5'11", he is dwarfed by a few big bodies down there in the post. And he's, he's a skinny guy, didn't have a lot of size. But he's able to really muscle his way through and Fine separation. It's his second trip to the line. Two for two on the first trip, and he'll miss the front end here. This car still leads all scorers right now with eight points. They'll get the second. They get nine. Twenty to fourteen. Quick kick there. Blatz gonna. Get fouled there. Carr got his hands caught in the cookie jar there, reached in on the oh, shot, on got one. the arm of Blatz. Blatz shooting two. So now Blatz, after knocking down the field goal on the last trip down, has an opportunity to keep the ball rolling here for the Indians who trail by six. First one rattles around, no good.
Can't get either. Kromka had the rebound for a second, but the Indians able to come back up with it. And now it's Bilovis from deep. That's his sweet spot. He's one of the few guys that you kind of feel comfortable with taking a shot from there. He'll get it inside to Gregerson, and Gregerson able to lay that one up, and then Campolo thought about the shot. A good vision there. And now Gregerson and Kromka getting their first points on the board. And the lead is back to eight for the Gators. Muscling inside, and a nice bucket there. Tracy gets himself on the scoreboard. Gators go baseline. Kick to Kromka. That one's short. Turned away, though. Nice job getting a hand in there. MJ Stevenson and now Carr will pull things back out, and the Gators will reset. Foul there. So that will probably get called on Brandon Bell. And it will. Second foul for Bell. See if he checks out after picking up personal number two. Looks like three subs looking to check in here for the Indians here. Elvis Rogers sticking with the same five. Hard to blame them. They've played well thus far. It's still a decently close game here. Just a six-point advantage for the Gators. That's another missed free throw there, this time by Stevenson. He has a chance. And knocks down the second. So number five now has five. And the lead is seven. Bilovis picks up his dribble, has to dish that back off. Justin Mann's getting his first minutes. Now corner three is good. Big shot there. Nate Nolan comes off the bench and hits a big Nate one. Nolan for three. To bring it back to a four-point advantage. Indians hanging around in this one. Good drive by Campolo. The hook shot is good. Banks it up and in. Campolo with his first points. Now quickly the other way. A little too strong there. Player goes to the ground. Campolo draws the foul. After a nice take there, Pustover tried to just lay that one. The finger roll on the backhand. Just off the mark. Feel the pace start to pick up a little bit here. The six versus 11 matchup. Gators finished second in their section. West Allegheny finished five and five overall, 10 and 11, under 500 on the season, but won their three of their last four, including their last three section games. Gregerson. As Gregerson, again, proving to provide a matchup as he does just so often. That six, seven physical frame. Another deep shot there. West Allegheny not afraid to pull the trigger from deep. Kromka gets it. Campolo now thought about the shot. He will take it. That one just a bit long. And that'll be an over-the-back call on Gregerson. I believe that'll be his first. Team foul number five. Both teams with five fouls. So just a couple more fouls to give before these teams enter into the bonus. Over passed on the open three there. They'll get it to the corner once again. It's Nolan. That one just a bit too strong, but look at the offensive rebound. The Indians have done a good job on the boards. Second chance here. Nolan thought about the shot. Good pump fake there. Now they'll kick it. Extra pass. The fake, the drive, and the finish. Nice ball movement there. Tracy. And Tracy with his second bucket now. He's up to four points. And the lead is shaved back to six. Three and a half minutes to go here in half number one. It's Campolo. There was some contact there to be sure, but good pressure applied there by Ryan Herman, who sat for a little while and is back into the contest. Pavlik checks back in for the Gators. He has five. Pulling the strings on the offense. Good ball movement once again. 
Nolan thought about another shot, but he's able to get it inside. A nice cut there. Justin Manns. Justin Manns. From now the seventh Indian to score. So very balanced scoring here. Seven players, 23 points. I'll kick this one out. Mikey Crawford passed on the shot, had the open look. Now Pavlik going to try and get inside. That'll be a travel. Pavlik thought there was some contact there. Won't get the call. Willibus, back to the end. Now the officials telling Pavlik to not be quite so aggressive before the ball is inbounded. Now Bilovis with a little open space. He's able to fire to the corner. Herman passed on the shot. High pass there. This has been a good one thus far. Good fake by Herman, but now that ball. Carr with a beautiful steal behind the back. And he will get blocked at the rim. Followed up. Put in. Elijah Bruce McCrommon. It's the Gators now getting some secondary scoring. As now seven different Gators have scored. There's Bilovis. Bilovis Second three Ray. of the game. He's now up to eight points. He was held scoreless for the first six minutes of this one. Now he's starting to find his rhythm. And now the Indians with another turnover here, forcing the Gators' hand. They'll get that ball up court quickly. And now Tracy has six. Just a one-point game, folks. This one heating up. Indians upset-minded here. Against the Gators, they'll strip that one away. That's going to be a turnover. Gators faithful can't believe it. They thought there was a hack job there done on Jaden Carr. They're going to say it last touched him. Clean block. And now the Indians. They trailed for quite a while in this one. Now have an opportunity to... Poke their noses back out in front here just before halftime. We've got just 96 seconds. And make sure to not go anywhere. We'll step aside for about 10-ish minutes or so, but we'll be right back with the second half of action here. We've still got about 86 minutes or seconds here, rather, of what's been a very entertaining opening round game here, the 6-11 matchup. Mullen thought about it. Bilovis thought about it. No shot clock, so they can take as much time as they want, and they very well might hold for the last shot of the half. Let's see. Nolan is going to pull the trigger now from deep. That one went in and out about as much as it could. Now Bilovis wide open, knocks it down. That's his game. He's into double figures. He now leads all scores with 11 points. And the Indians pull ahead. And they brought themselves a student section. This place is getting loud and not in favor of the Gators. The Gators crowd stunned at this run here by West Allegheny. Nice drive inside. That one left short, though. Stevenson gets it back. Now it'll be Carr from the wing. That one just off the mark, but another rebound. And that won't go either. The Gators. Can't get the Bunnies to fall. They had a ton of shots from inside. Now a three-point shot. That one's no good. That would have taken the lid right off of this place. Four seconds left. Bilovis lets it go, but he's going to draw the foul as there was contact after. Campolo continued his defensive pressure through the body of Bilovis. And now that's going to be three free throws to end this half and a chance for West Allegheny to build on a potential lead going into the second half of play. Bilovis leaves the first one short, rushed it. Bilovis connects on the second, and he'll have one more here, and the Gators We'll have about 1.5 seconds as that one falls. Gives the Indians a chance to set up their defense. And Campolo just going to let this go from half court. A little too high on that one. So that'll do it. 
16 minutes in the books, and it's the 11 seed over top of the 6 seed. Gators led by as much as eight. That lead has been erased. A West Allegheny run in the second quarter has netted them a four-point advantage. We'll head to the break. We will be right back here in about nine and a half minutes' time here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Your halftime score, West Allegheny 33, Gateway 29. Just a few minutes away from starting half number two here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. I want to thank everyone for joining us here. An entertaining first half, a game of runs as the Gators got up by as much as eight early. But West Allegheny crawled their way back, outscored the Gators by 12. They find themselves in front as we start half number two, 33 to 29. Take a look at the seedings, 4-5-A. Our top eight seeds there, they all host at their own home facilities. They match up from the bottom of your screen on the first graphic to the top on the other one. So as you see, West Allegheny there at the 11 seed line. The only final that we've been able to see thus far, Penn Hills moving on. They had the mercy roll for much of the second half, but Chartiers Valley pulled back within 15. 72-57 is your final there. This game and the broadcast rights to this game, sole exclusive property of WPIL and the Triple Live High School Sports Network. Any broadcast of this game is intended exclusively for the benefit of a viewing and listening audience in any use. Rebroadcast or distribution of this broadcast without the express written consent from the WPIL and Trim Total Media is strictly prohibited. 30 seconds left to tick off the clock. Take a look at some of our leading scorers. That man on the bench right there, number 34, Scott Billivis, with 13 to lead all scorers. As both teams had some real depth scoring there, both teams with about eight guys scoring in the first half. So Billivis leading the way for West Allegheny. And on the other side, it's nine points from Jaden Carr, eight of those coming in the first quarter. They're going to need more of him here in the second half if the Gators are going to look to avoid the upset here and punch their ticket to the quarterfinals for a second straight year. West Allegheny made it to the Open Tournament last season before being knocked out by Plum. So we are back underway here at Gateway Area Senior High School. And a nice take there as Vito Campolo with his second bucket. Four points for Campolo, and the lead cut in half. Gators within two with a quick bucket there. Gators going to switch things up a little bit here. Defensively. There's a deep three here, an open look off the mark, and another offensive rebound for West Allegheny who have really cleaned up on that side of things. And now a take underneath. That one lipped in and out, and more pressure once again. Brandon Bell almost got that one back after the lay-in attempt. It was difficult kind of going across his body there. Couldn't get it to fall. But some good looks in the early possession here for West Allegheny. Both of these teams know how to score the basketball. Average over 65 points a game. Campolo thought about the shot. They'll take the floater now. Campolo, two big buckets here to start the second half, and the Gators pull even. Now we'll get it back to Bilovis. He doesn't need much space. He'll knock it down. Four three-pointer for Bilovis. He's up to 16. The Indians back out in front. Go inside to Kromka, nice cut there. He's fouled. 33 fouls, 23. It's a pussed over. Picks up the foul, just 90 seconds in. That'll be his first. Neither team entered into the bonus there in half number one, so both teams kept things pretty clean. There's no player currently on the floor that has more than two fouls, that being Brandon Bell. Kromka connects on the front end. Gator started out well from the free throw line, but missed a couple in quarter number two. 
you get to these games where there's only 16, eight, four teams left, the margin for error certainly goes down. Will Kromka does not want his season to end here on the home floor. He nails both free throws there. Contact foul underneath Gregerson. Got caught flat-footed. He'll foul Bell. That'll be the second foul on Gregerson. Number 23, Bell, shooting two. He's had a quiet night, Gregerson. Whether it be blocks, dunks, offensive rebounds, just hasn't produced the way he normally does thus far tonight. His first free throw no good there for Bell. Second one true though. Six points now for Bell, 37-35. Gators looking to tie or take the lead here. Good feed inside. Gregerson finishes and one. He'll head to the line. And the Gators, a free throw away from poking their way back out in front. Where this game takes on either the Mars Fighting Planets. Thomas Jefferson Jaguars. And what is the three versus 14 matchup here in 5A? Gators were knocked out by Chartier's Valley last season. Lost a six point game in the quarterfinals in which Will Kromka did not play. Deep check time, big time three. Herman for three. Herman with his first points. And it puts the Indians back out in front. Now Herman with the Herman. scoop and score. Five quick points for Herman after being shut out in the first half. And the lead is four for the Indians. Good cut there by Carr. He fights his way inside. And they're going to call a charge. Coach Alvis Rogers instructing his team. Carr looking dejected after picking up his first foul on the charge. Feel that momentum starting to tip back in favor of the visiting team. Another three-point shot, another three-point made field goal. And it's Tracy, Noden Tracy now up to nine points. West Allegheny dialed in. Their lead is now seven. Largest lead of the game thus far for West Allegheny. Kromka fights his way inside. Lays this one up off the mark. And now it's Bilovis. A nice rebound, the spin move. He creates space, thinks about the shot, crosses up the defender. The Gators on their heels a little bit. Need a stop here to avoid this one from ballooning to double digits. Stevenson tried to get the steal. That leads to an opportunity, an open opportunity. Another offensive rebound. That's been the story. Another open look from three. Gators, frankly, lucky that those didn't fall. And now Carr able to pick up the foul. Herman reached in. Coach Rogers telling his offense to take a deep breath. So a lot of time left in this one. We are about 20 seconds away from halfway through quarter number three here at Gateway Senior High School. Gators were able to tie this game up a few times. Got the one point lead for a second. But since then, there's been eight straight points for West Allegheny. Make that 10. Is that layup up and good for Joe Pustover? Pustover. Pustover now with four points, and the lead is nine. Wholesale changes coming up. Gators going to have a trio of subs coming in. They'll get it to Gregerson. Gregerson can't get the look to fall, and he's called for the over the back. The Gators just look absolutely disjointed, and they're going to need to rely on Pavlik. Crawford and Thompson to try and stymie this momentum built by West Allegheny. Uh, since about halfway through the second quarter, it really has been 
all Indians thus far. Tracy passes on the three this time. Now drive inside, kick. They'll get a good look for Pustover. That one off the mark, though. Now Pavlik, no numbers, but he comes down the other way. He keeps, and he swatted away. And Bilovis is fired up as he denies Pavlik. Pavlik tried to go up against three defenders there. And now Bilovis being told <laughs> to watch his tone. Officials trying to stay on top of things. Let cooler heads prevail. We'll get into Kromko, who's fouled. Tried to put it up for the old-fashioned three-point play, but he'll earn a chance to go back to the line, and the Gators will have a chance at two more with the clock stopped at three minutes, 20 seconds here in quarter number three. Hustover, shooting two. That made free throw gives Kromka just five points in this one. He'll connect on both, bring the lead back to seven. Gators with the full court pressure. But no trap as Kromka with a big block the other way to bail out the defense. Now it's Pavlik again looking to do it himself. He'll dish out to Kromka. That one's short. Another strong rebound by the Indians, who now have numbers. They'll throw it over the head of everyone, though. They were looking for Node and Tracy, but Tyler Blast just airmailed that one. A couple breaks there for the Gators. Now the Indians apply a little bit of pressure in the backcourt. Carr able to get them across midcourt. We'll see. Pavlik going to pull up. He's dangerous from there. His second made three. He's up to eight points now. That's a sorely needed bucket for the Gators who pull back within four after trailing by as much as nine. Good dish inside. Good positioning. That one rattles home. If you're the Gators. You just can't let Brandon Bell get behind you like that. He now has eight. And the lead is back up to six. Pavlik now trying to do it himself once again. Dishes that out to the baseline at the last possible second. And a nice shot there by Tally Thompson. Thompson registers his first bucket of the game for the Gators. Back and forth we go. Another good look for the Indians underneath. And that one's blocked away. Crawford with the denial. Kromka does it himself, lays it up off, and now it's back in. Crawford turning defense into offense. Mikey Crawford with his first bucket. Gators back within two. You can feel the intensity in the atmosphere. Now the Gators student section comes to life. Stevens, or rather Crawford, almost comes away with the steal there as he gets a little too physical there. He'll pick up the foul as he fouls Noden Tracy. That will be the second on Crawford. Both teams have four team fouls here with 90 seconds left in quarter number three. Crawford will check in. Will allow Jaden Carr to take a spell. Carr with eight points in that first quarter. Was able to generate turnovers, get down the court after stealing the ball. Just haven't seen him be as effective in the half court. Heat check there by Bulovis. It's poked away. Herman almost able to get that away from Pavlik, who came down with the rebound. Herman poked it away, the last one to touch it. Every possession feels just a little bit more important here as we've got about nine minutes of game action left. One of these two teams is going to advance to be one of the last eight teams standing. Nice take there. That went off the mark, though. 
After that, ball bounces around a little bit. It comes away to the Indians. Tracy down the other way. He'll take it with the Euro step. That one no good. But again, it's taken away. They'll call the foul on the floor. As you've kind of been waiting for one of those to get called as Bell sort of came in and just swatted at the arms of the Gators. Got that ball loose and corralled it. So he'll pick up his third foul and he'll subsequently check off. His coaching staff for the Indians can't believe the call. That'll be the fifth team foul on West Allegheny. Gators looking to tie or take the lead here. Less than a minute left. They'll get it to Kromka. Wide open three-point shot. That one's strong. It'll come back to the Gators. Pavlik thought about it. Now he will take it. That one just lips out. The follow no good. And finally put home. Tally Thompson. Four big points here in the third quarter. We got ourselves a tie game once again. Corner jumper, no good. Follow through by Herman, also no good, but that one bounces off the Gators and will stay here as that one took a weird bounce off of the rim and Kromka just couldn't come up with it. Eventually goes out off of his sneaker. And now with 15.7 seconds left, Gators will bring in Gregerson. Spell Kromka here. So they'll use Gregerson's wingspan to try and make this inbound pass that much harder. They'll get it into Belavis. He's a little strong on that one. Ball's kicked around. Herman has it at midcourt. They'll pass it underneath. Belavis off the mark once again. Ball still loose. Pavlik has it. Four seconds left. Full court pass. Three-point shot. No good. Hits the rim. Thompson almost with a third big bucket there, but the Gators, after trailing as much as nine, have pulled all the way back. And boy, do we have a fourth quarter that you're going to want to stick around for. 49 to 49 here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Glad to have you all along for the ride here. A couple big misses there, but Scott Bilovis up to 16 points now, leads all scores. Gators getting some balanced scoring two, one, across nine. the board. Jaden Carr nine, with nine. Bryson Pavlik with eight. Three. Gregerson with seven. Kromko with six. Thompson, two big buckets in that second quarter. Not to be outdone, Vito Campolo has six in the game. And look on the other side, some big time performers thus far. Brandon Bell has eight points. Joe Pustover, four, five points from number five. Ryan Herman all coming in that third quarter after he was shut out in half number one, and then nine points from Noted Tracy as well. And so here we go, folks. Teams are back on the court. Indians rocking the dark gray with the scarlet numerals, a little bit of white trim as well. And the Gators in the home white uniforms. With the Black numerals and gold trim. Indians will start this quarter going right to left on offense. Eight minutes left in regulation. Let's see if we can determine a winner here. Good turnaround jumper there, but it's left short by Belavis, and Kromka going to come up with it. Has Pavlik behind the defense. Pavlik able to lay that one up and in, and he's fired up as the Gators back out in front. Pavlik into double figures. He leads all Gators now with 10 points. West Allegheny has really used that three-point shot to get to this point. But this time it's a runner. Inside, as Pustover just sort of put that one up, hoping a prayer, and that one falls. He has six, and we are knotted once again at 51. Will Kromko going to get called for the moving screen here on offense. That's a big call. I believe that'll be just the second also foul on Will Kromka. But it turns the ball back over to West Allegheny. Like we said, every single possession just becomes so much more important here as the seconds tick away. But 
Now a moving screen on the other end. They're calling it both ways. Kravka picks up the moving screen. Tracy guilty as charged on the other end. So after the two fouls, the ball returns to the Gators' possession as they look to break this tie once again. Kromka sees it bounce off of his hands. He looks a little tired. See if he can find that extra gear here down the stretch these last six and a half minutes. Trying to extend his Gators' career as one of the four seniors on this team. Tracy thought about the deep shot from behind the arc. Just Allegheny staying patient here. Moving very slow in the half court. Herman now going to pull the trigger. That one rattles home. Herman, Herman with his second three-point field goal. He has eight points all in the second half. Now a falling away jumper. Not a very good look there, but they'll get it back under the hoop. And a good MJ job there. Stevenson Mikey Crawford got a hand on that to bust it loose. And MJ Stevenson was able to pick that one up, put it back in, and now he has seven. But after the three-point field goal at the other end, West Allegheny up one. Tracy able to find his way inside. A lot of contact underneath. And Bell finally ends up with the ball off the nice dish from Tracy. And now another turnover. Tracy hands it back off to Pustover. That one's off the mark. Kromka comes up with a big, big rebound there. And now the pass is deep and off of the hands of Crawford. So the Gators miss a golden opportunity there. Both teams missing some easy buckets around the rim. Some errant passing as well for the Gators. Not doing them any favors as we are approaching five minutes left here. Bell with his last bucket now into double figures with 10. The lead is three. He'll get an open three-point look. This one left a little bit long, but Bell gets it back. He's fouled, and it doesn't fall. Almost had the opportunity for an opportunity at three the old-fashioned way. Gateway foul, number five, MJ Stevenson. Number 23, Brandon Bell, shooting two. Bell earns himself. Two shots at the line. Both teams with 16 fouls. This Bell's first one in and out. So every foul from here on out will result in free throws. We'll start with the bonus. The players will get a one and one. We'll get one free throw at the opportunity to earn the second should they make it. And when the team hits 10 fouls, they'll get into the double bonus where they earn both free throws outright. Bell now up to 11. He hits the back end. Those two free throws. The lead is now four for West Allegheny. Crawford almost loses the handle, then he does. And another turnover for the Gators, and that has really been the story here in the second half. As now Crawford will take a seat, Kromka will check back on. And the Gators giving the other squad opportunities here, and the Indians are taking advantage. Jaden Carr also back into the game for Gateway. Tracy with a nice drive, tries to go underneath with the reverse, it's off the mark. And now stepping on the baseline, Gregerson catches a break as that ball got away from him. And when Tracy went to corral it, that ball was out of bounds. And so the Gators gifted a possession here and desperately in need of points. Down four here with four minutes left. So the Indians will apply full court pressure. It's pushed over, guarding Carr. Nice hesitation there and then up off the glass is Stevenson. He's up to nine points now. And the lead is two once again. Herman fakes the shot. He drives inside. Now he'll kick it out. Bell with a wide open look. And it's a brick. No good. He'll get it to Kromka. 
Gators have numbers. Kromka hesitates. Now he goes inside, leaves it off. That one is going to be a charge underneath. Kromka and the Gators can't believe it. That'll be the third on Kromka, who clearly is frustrated. He left that one off perfectly for MJ Stevenson, but not before making contact with Scott Bilovis. Now Bilovis at the other end. We have a call. That'll be a timeout by West Allegheny. 3.39, not a lot of time left in this one, and the Gators trying to avoid seeing the time run out on their campaign. 13 and five, the sixth seed against the 10 and 11, 11 seed. West Allegheny had to play tough and play way, well down the stretch just to get themselves in this situation. Won their final three section contest before dropping a 14 point decision against perennial favorite in 4A Lincoln Park. They have shot the three ball well, and they've put themselves in position here if they can hang on to advance to the second round where they would take on either Mars or Thomas Jefferson. We've been scouring Twitter trying to find some scores for you, but have yet to come up with anything. The one decision we did see that was final is at Penn Hills, the four seed, and one of the Gators' rivals from here in the east suburbs of Pittsburgh. They mercy rolled for much of the second half, Chartier's Valley, before hanging on to win by 15. We will resume action here at Gateway High School. Scott Bilovis with the ball. He has 16 thus far this evening. Kromka guards him straight up, trying not to allow him to be able to pull up from deep. Now Tracy almost picks up that pivot foot. Now Tracy had the open look, but the ball got away from him for a second. He'll drive inside. Again, holds on to it for too long. That pass off the mark, and the Gators hang in there defensively and now have an opportunity or to tie or take the lead with 3.10 left. Campolo back in the game. Kromko going to drive baseline, muscles his way in, and he lays it in. And he'll go to the line, and the Gators will have a chance for the lead with 2.59 left here in quarter number four. A big take there by the senior, just putting his head down, forcing his way to the basket, absorbing the contact, and making the bucket. Now can he deliver on the all-important free throw? It's good. Kromko with nine now. Gators back in front. Pushed over. Able to get past the pressure. Belovis going to pull up from three. A dagger there. He doesn't miss often. He's up to 19, flirting with a 20-point game and the lead back to two for West Allegheny. Neither of these teams blinking. Carr thought about the corner jumper. Now he'll get it to the corner for Stevenson. That one just off the mark. That's going to be a foul on the floor as Herman came in and hacked at the arm of Kromka as that ball went out of bounds. So Kromka will head to the line for the one and one with a chance to nod this one back up at 60. One and one, Kromka. Kromka makes it three in a row from the charity stripe. He's into double figures. Was one of three Gators with nine. Now he matches Bryson Pavlik with 10. Second one no good, so he'll stay there. West A stays out in front, 60 to 59. Big miss there. See if the Gators can get a stop. Good passing here. Tracy in the corner, knocks it down. They just 
can't miss from deep. Final two minutes of play, lead is four. Carr puts his head down, gets to the hoop, and he puts it in. Not so fast as Jaden Carr. He might just be a junior, but he doesn't want to see this campaign come to a close either. Pulls the Gators back within two. They're getting the offense, and they get the defense at the other end. Carr with another big free throw here to make it a one-point game once again. That's good. Carr now into double figures. He has 12. Once again leads all Gators scorers. Those are his first points of the second half, and they are enormous. Ball is loose. Gregerson has it. Campolo able to get it to Kromka. Kromka surveys his options, picks up his dribble. Gregerson has it. They'll get it to Carr, and Carr will reset. 90 seconds left. One point game. And a timeout aptly called by Alvis Rogers. And everyone just breathe. <laughs> 83 seconds left in this one and what has shaped up to be a real barn burner here at Gateway High School. Gators got out to early leads of five, six, eight points. West Allegheny erased that, went into the half with a four point lead. They built it to as much as nine. Neither team is led by double figures at any point in this one. So we have remained competitive throughout. And the Gators have gotten back equal. They poked their head back out in front. But West Allegheny has been able to answer at every single turn. And so we stand here 63 to 62. West Allegheny looking to pull the upset over the Gateway Gators. I think that might be the most athletic thing we've seen the entire evening. Certainly no disrespect to the players out on the court now, but my goodness, both of these cheer squads, both of these student sections showing up and showing out tonight. A lot of talent all over the court. That's some incredible tumbling there. I think I pulled my hamstring just watching that. 83 seconds left. Gators down one, need a big bucket here. Carr stops, pops, hits. Puts the Gators back in front. For two. Gators by one. Closing in on the final minute of play. Will it be Bellavis and the Indians springing the upset? Or can the Gators hang on here at home? A deep shot from Herman. No good. Kronka comes away with the rebound. He needs help. Dishes it off to Carr. Carr needs to get this cross half court. They do. Kronka now taking his time. Campolo back to Carr. And a timeout by the Gators. Gators with 46 seconds left. 46 seconds left. They find themselves back out in front. Worth noting, they've done this all without Caleb Pryor tonight, one of their go-to guards. And so Coach Rogers has had to go to the bench. And we are shaping up for an incredible finish here between these two teams. As we said, this, this game's winner will take on either Mars or Thomas Jefferson for a chance to go to the quarterfinals. That game will be played later this week on Thursday, and then the following week on the 28th will be the semifinals. And then on March 4th, we will crown a champion in 5A as one of these 16 teams in the field, or two of them rather, We'll get to play at the Peterson Event Center, home of the Pitt Panthers. And only one of them will come away as champions. 43 seconds left. Jaden Carr able to draw the foul. I believe that'll be the 10th team foul against 
West Allegheny. So that's a big, big deal there, folks. For anyone that doesn't know, that enters the Gators into the double bonus. So Carr doesn't have to make the first free throw to get the second. He's earned both of them, but he is money on the front end. Carr, two for two. That gives him 16. The Gators will take another timeout here. 41.4 seconds left. The Gators, if they manage to escape, what a flirt <laughs> disaster this has been. West Allegheny's a talented squad as the 11 seed, but this is a Gators team that has aspirations of making a deep run. They bring a lot of pieces back from a team that went to the quarterfinals last season. This is the last run with Gregerson, Kromka, and McCrommon. Izzy McGeorge also a senior. But we have not seen much of him thus far tonight. So here we go. About 30 seconds left. Joe Pustover trying to create space. He spins. He puts it up. That one's off the mark. But it was blocked. So the possession will stay with the Indians. 27.7. Get it in quickly, corner three, lips in and out. McGeorge comes away with it. A foul underneath as the ball landed in the hands of Vito Campolo. And Campolo, who is not a regular starter for the Gators, not only comes away with the rebound, but now has an opportunity to not quite, but very close to put this game on ice. These are some big, big free throws for a sophomore here. As Campolo has the opportunity to make this a two possession game with 19 seconds left. He'll get both of them with the Gators in the double bonus. He'll need the second one. First one too strong. Can the sophomore come through? Or will the Indians have a chance to tie late in this one? Campolo comes through with a big time free throw. Indians have to go fast. They need two buckets. And it's thrown away. And the Gators can taste it. 11 seconds left. Need the inbound. Carr gets it cleanly. He's fouled in the backcourt, and he'll head to the line. Eight point nine seconds left. Still need these free throws if you're the Gators. But Jaden Carr has been excellent. Gators student section starting to have a little fun with the fact that it looks like the Gators might hang on here, but my goodness, what a valiant effort by West Allegheny. His car knocks down the front end. The lead is now five. Second one up and good. Jaden Carr likely will finish this game as the leading scorer for the Gators. 18 points. Nine of them here in this second half. Ball almost thrown away again. Just a few seconds left in this one. Tracy will pull up that three-pointer off of the mark. It'll trail out. 0.6 seconds left. This will just be a formality. Gators will inbound this ball, and they are moving on. 
Gateway comes from behind. They trail by as much as nine. And they will come away victorious, 69 to 63. My goodness, what a contest tonight. An excellent, excellent game by two talented teams. And for West Allegheny, they just couldn't get enough of the three-point shots to fall in the second half. They went a little bit cold down the stretch, and the Gators found that extra gear. Kromka getting the ball inside. Carr hitting mid-range jumpers. And the Gators bend, but don't break. They'll move to 14 and five, and more importantly, They'll move on to the second round where they will face either Mars or Thomas Jefferson with an opportunity to be one of the last four teams standing in 5A. Let's take a very quick look at some of our leading scorers for the evening. Jaden Carr leading the way, number one with 18 points for the Gators in the winning effort. A couple Gators finished with 10 points, both Bryson Pavlik and Will Kromka. It is MJ Stevenson ending with nine points. V Vito Campolo with seven points, including an enormous free throw to make it a two possession game at the end and really change the methodology at which West Allegheny had to attack offensively there at the end. And the game sped up just too much for them. They threw it away. Also scoring and adding on it. And or Mi Mikey Crawford rather, four points from number four, four points from Tally Thompson. A bucket chipped in by number 12, Elijah Bruce McCrommon. I believe that's all the scoring we saw for the Gators. And then on the other side, it was 19 points in a losing effort by Scott Belovis. And Belovis really came to play, but just couldn't get enough of those deep shots to fall towards the end of the game. Also in double figures, was Noden Tracy with 12 points, 11 for number 23. Brandon Bell, who's listed as a guard, but really did a lot of his damage inside. Did knock down a big three-point shot, but certainly was a menace on the offensive glass. And eight points as well for Ryan Herman. Three points for number 12, Nate Nolan, a big three-point bucket. Two points for Tyler Blatz, and a Two-point bucket for number 25 as well, Justin Manns. Also wanted to mention seven points for Ryan Gregerson, the senior, for the Gators. And that's your scoring. The final, 69-63. Gators will advance, and West Allegheny ends their season at 10 and 12. Gators will await to see if they take on Mars or Thomas Jefferson. We'll have all the action for you here live on the Trib Live High School Sports Network for our entire crew, Renee Schaefer, Lee Schaefer, Lee Schaefer, and Adam Gusky. I'm Vince Russo. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight for a production from the Gateway Broadcast team here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network.